was an event that could be staged nowhere else in the world. The Territory had unrestricted roads. The competitors had very fast cars. It's being staged under all safety factors and that's the extreme uh, nicety about it. That's what these drivers really want is the safety part of it. They're scored on points and that's the way it's, it's running and why it's being so successful. But there was no requirement for competition experience. There was no requirement to wear crash helmets. Accurate navigation aids called trip masters were not compulsory. What we were talking about here is an experiment, a high-speed motorsport experiment. More than anything else, the Cannonball Run was the initiative of the Northern Territory Government. The Chief Minister, Marshall Perrin, a hot rod enthusiast, gave it strong backing, a chance to put the Territory on the international map. The tens of millions of viewers for this event, possibly hundreds of millions, but I'll leave it at tens of millions of viewers, will be uh, the sort of publicity that you couldn't buy with a cheque as a government. The fastest car was a Ferrari F40, capable of Formula One speeds. It was driven by Japanese dentist Akihiro Kabe. Before the race, he was full of confidence. How fast does he think he can drive in this car? Uh, this car is the highest speed. How much is it? Um, 330, 340 kilometers per hour, maybe. Does he think he has the driving capability to drive at that speed? Do you think he has the driving capability to drive at that speed? Do you think he has the driving capability to drive at that speed? Do you think he has the driving capability to drive at that speed? Do you think he has the driving capability to drive at he was to die on May the 24th when the Ferrari slammed into him and colleague Tim Linkletter. He said he's crazy, he said he's going to kill someone. He said, he said I'm going to get down and watch. Unfortunately, he didn't get to watch. According to the navigator of a Porsche Mr Carbe had just passed, the Ferrari was going over 270 kilometres an hour moments before the accident. It should have been slowing for the checkpoint. This photograph shows the two officials rising from their seats as the Ferrari loses control. We could see the marshals not knowing which way to run. They started to go one way when the car first went from one side and then they sort of stopped and tried to go the other way when he came and At the point where they finally knew exactly which way he was coming at them, they just had very little time to get out of the way. The officials were crushed. The Japanese men died when their heads violently clashed together. They were not wearing helmets. The mere fact that they weren't even wearing crash helmets on a competitive stage, and they should have been there in the supplementary regulations, you have to wear your crash helmet. Should have been trip masters in the vehicles. Um, it was done on the cheap and nasty. It was an image situation. It was an image experiment that's cost us lives. Mr Moffat, just wondering, please, if you could um, let us know at this stage what you think might have happened. I can't comment on that. I wasn't here. You must be terribly, terribly upset. Yes, I am. But just who bears responsibility? Rally expert Dan Basherer has no doubts. Do you hold the Northern Territory Government responsible then for the loss of four lives? Totally. In releasing his findings today, Coroner John Lowndes was scathingly critical of the Northern Territory Government, saying the government failed to discharge its fundamental responsibility to ensure public safety. He said, The government failed to address its area of primary responsibility, which was to ensure that the very structure of the cannonball run was consistent with public safety. He was concerned that the government had handed over the responsibility for public safety to the organisers, Alan Moffat's race cage company. There were public vehicles on the road during the run, and public roads are a government responsibility. Mr Lowndes found that the accident was largely driver error. Mr Carbe was concentrating on a tourist vehicle in front rather than looking out for the checkpoint. The accident occurred as a result of the Ferrari attempting to enter the lay-by at a sharp angle and at a speed which was excessive in all the circumstances. He recommended many changes should any future race be contemplated. And despite the four deaths, that's just what the government is doing. I believe if you were to go out and poll uh, Territorians whether or not there should be another cannonball run, that you would find overwhelming support for such a feature to be uh, held again in the Northern Territory.